Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and do another Shop My Stash. I do do these weekly. If you're new to my channel, a Shop My Stash is pretty much me going through my collection and picking new products to use for the week. Not selling anything, of course. I'm just going through my collection and try to rotate it. I really enjoy these Shop My Stash videos just because they really help me rotate my collection and just kind of, you know, give other products a shot and not use the same products every week. So if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I do upload three times a week on Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, unless I have camera issues. If you guys have heard, I am back in action. I got my new camera in, so I'll be filming this weekend, getting some content out for you guys. Um, next week will be Project Pan updates. So yeah, if you're not yet subscribed, subscribe, and let's just go ahead and jump right in. So the first product I had this week was this one by Joa Beauty. This is the Selfie Ready Setting Spray. It's the Matte Me Down. They also have a dewy version, but I did pick up the matte version. I do like the setting spray. It works pretty nicely. It does keep me matte about four or five hours. Um, it's, it's, a nice, it's a nice setting spray, um, but we are going to put this away and pick a new setting spray to use. And then you guys know that I've been keeping my Chicathon. I did use it twice this week, and we'll just keep that in another week. In my first drawer here, I have my clear brow gel that I will be leaving in here. I did use this one time. This is the Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu in the shade Shells and Whistles. This is beautiful. I did get compliments when I wore this to work. It's a really pretty like champagne corally type color. It's really pretty. But we're going to put that away. For liner this week, we used the Man Eater by Tarte. This is a really nice felt tip, brush tip liner. It's nice. I do like it, but we are going to put that away. For lipstick, we did use these two right here. Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu in I Don't Desert You. And here's what that looks like. It's just like a, a metallic liquid lipstick. And then I did apply a little bit of this on top, which is the NYX Candy Slick Glowy Lip Color in the shade Cherry Cola. And here's what that looks like. It's just like a really, it's like a, like a pigmented lip gloss. It looked really nice paired together, but we're going to put those away. I also do use my ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Swerve. It's just a black liner, but we're going to put this away as well. For brows this week, I picked the Pop Beauty Peak Performance Brow Pencil, and it kind of has like a triangular tip. I use this every single day this week. I didn't use my CoverGirl one, so we are going to leave the CoverGirl in there, and we are going to put this one away. This... I was telling you guys it's not my favorite. It's kind of waxy and it's not very pigmented either. It did the job. It's not my favorite brow pencil, but we're going to put that away. For another liner, we took the Monster Ardency in Smooth Right Supercharged Eyeliner in the shade Lilac. It's just a pretty light purple color. Um, we'll put that away. And then for mascara, I keep thinking this is like um, about out and it's, it just keeps going strong. But we're going to leave this in here another week. And we're going to probably pick another mascara to use as well. In this drawer right here, we had face products. Um, I used this NYX Pro Foundation Mixer in white with my Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, this is in the shade 4.0. I do find that this foundation does oxidize, so that's the reason why I use this foundation mixer. This foundation is beautiful. It looked really nice on my skin. The only thing is that it is full coverage, and I don't like full coverage foundations for everyday use. So I did use some of my Project Pen items that are up there that are foundations, but I did use this about three times this past week, but we're gonna put these two products away and pick a new foundation. Um, for concealer this week, we used the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I have mine in the shade light beige. This is really nice. This is definitely comparable to Shark Sharp Tarte Shape Tape. It's so good. Very full coverage. The color works pretty well. I mean, I do find that it does kind of make my under eyes a little brighter than what I like. Um, but overall, this is a really nice concealer and it's only $5. For primer this week, we use the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer in Light. This one's supposed to be good for oily skin. This worked really well. It made my foundation look nice and smooth. Whichever foundation I use this with, it looked nice. So we're going to put that away. I also did use this primer this week, the No Pore Blem Primer by Touch and Soul. We got this in our boxy charm this month. This is really nice for pores as well. And we are going to put this away. Um, this is my Maybelline Fit Me powder. This is in my project pan. We are going to pick a new powder to use this week, but I am going to, I usually film these videos on Thursdays to upload on Saturdays, but I'm going to use my project pan items a couple more days before I actually put it away. 
because this is in my roulette project pen and this one is as well. So I'm going to pick a new product. So I'm going to put this to the side to use, but I'm going to use them for a couple more days and then I'll be putting it away. And then this is also in a project pen. This isn't my year long one though. This is the Tarte CC under eye corrector. We're going to leave that in there. And then my sunscreen's also in there. Down here, I have my NARS Exposed Cheek Palette. This is beautiful. I really enjoyed this and I just really loved it. These are not super pigmented that you have to be careful when using this palette. I do find that I do have to like dip my brush in there multiple times to kind of get a good amount of pigmentation on my cheeks, but I do really still like this palette and I like the highlighter that's in here as well. But we're gonna again put that away and pick a new product. For eyeshadow this week, I used the ColourPop All I See Is Magic and I pretty much used all of the matte shades in here. I used this shimmer shade, this one to kind of deepen out my outer corners. I didn't dip into like the shimmery shades a lot, but all of the matte shades I did use again in this one and that one I do like this palette I feel like I had like pretty much the same look every time I use this palette um the shimmer shades felt kind of not extra metallic -y or anything just they were, they were okay um this is not my favorite palette by ColourPop in any means but I do still like the palette I think the mattes are really nice um we'll put that away and then I also did use this Venus 2 by Lime Crime and I like to keep the plastic inserts in my palette, but I used all of the shades except for these two shades right here. Um, this palette is really pigmented. I love how the color scheme is kind of different, but not like these are more like wearable colors, whereas you kind of get like different pops of, I don't know. It's not like a, a normal palette, you know, just of neutral shades. I think you get like a little bit of everything in this little palette right here. I do like this palette. Um, we are gonna put this away and pick another palette to use. And then for highlighter, this was part of my decluttered pile that I decided to test out. And this is super blinding. I'm not really sure why I decluttered it. It might have been because I don't use it, but this is super nice. I think I would put this in like a future project pan just because I've had this for a while and I've it looks pretty much new, but it's really blinding. It's really nice. So we are gonna put this away and pick a new product. And then these two were also part of my decluttered pile, and I decided to give them another chance. But unfortunately, these two shades are too dark for me as highlights. I could keep them and use them as like eyeshadows. Um, this one is in Butterfly Beach, and here is what that looks like. It's really, really pretty, but for as highlight for me, it's too dark. And then this one is in Churro. This was a limited edition shade. And this one's really pretty as well. But I don't know if I'm going to keep these as eyeshadows. I think I'm just... I may keep Churro, but I'm probably going to declutter Butterfly Beach. And I believe that is all that I have in this week's Shop My Stash. So we are ready to go ahead and shop my collection to pick new products to use this week. So we're going to go to my new makeup drawer. I have my cart ready. This is super cute, right? I've had it for like a month and it was just in the little box it came with. And I'm like, let me go ahead and do something cute with this and put it over here while I film my shop, my stash videos. So this is my new makeup drawer. So I definitely want to try maybe this out this week. This is the Clinique Cheek Pop and Glow Trio Palette. It's a highlight blush and a bronzer. So yeah, let's go ahead and take this this week. And since we are going to be putting, we're going to be using the Physicians Formula a couple more days and then I'm going to need a new bronzer. I do have a couple bronzers here to test out, to try. I think I'm going to go with this one. Can you guys see the color difference? This one seems more cool tone than the Maybelline one. I think I want to test this one out first. So we're going to use this one for bronzer. I do want to test these out as well. Um, these are the Besame brightening face powders um this is in violet and then this one is in vanilla the violet one is good for brightening the under eyes i don't know if you can use it for the whole face and then this one is just i think it's just like a yellow powder i wonder if i should try both let's go ahead and try both yes let's do that okay what else do we got in here i got this in my um Play by Sephora box by Estee Lauder, the double wear. I haven't tried Estee Lauder double wear in so long, but I kind of feel like I should try to use this one up. So I think this is what I'm going to use for foundation this week. This is a sample by Laura Mercier. It's a flawless fusion, and I have mine in the shade Macadamia. I think I'm going to pick another foundation as well, but this one I really need to like finish up and just use up or put it over there in my like everyday drawer just to kind of try to finish it. 
from in here, I also want to take this one by ABH. It's a liquid lipstick in the shade Poet. I got mine from Marshalls. So yeah, I want to try this lipstick out. Let me show you guys the color. <laughs> this is really pretty. So yeah, we'll take this for a lipstick this week. And I got this one from um, my Play by Sephora box. This is a pretty color. Hmm. So I got a couple MAC lipsticks in here. The, both of them were, one of them I got from, for free, this one. But this one is in Hug Me. Let's go ahead and try this one out. I think this is like a, new, a, natu like a neutral everyday color. This one's pretty. Let's try this. Again, this is a MAC lipstick in Hug Me. And I believe I got this one from Generation Beauty for free. Like, they give free products in when you stand in line, like in all of the booths. And they actually had like a neutral shade for you to pick from. And of course, I went with neutral because they had like pop pink or like crazy colors like blue and purple, like bright purple and stuff. And I wanted something more wearable. Okay, so over here, I also got this out of my decluttered pile. This is the Narcissist. Um, unfiltered 2 palette. Here's what that looks like. This is pretty much new. I used it a few times and then decided to declutter because I never used it. But again, I'm going to give this another try and see if I want to keep that. And then I also want to test this Morphe Times Kathleen Lights palette. I just feel also that this palette is really like natural colors and not very i don't know i don't think it's an inspiring palette so i went ahead off of camera and picked a few shades to pair with the kathleen lights palette just to have a little fun colors so the first top two rows are by coastal scents and then the bottom rows down here those three green colors are from sydney grace cosmetics and yeah these are the colors that i'm going to be pairing with this kathleen lights palette and I thought it was, it gave me some little more options of color to pair with this palette. So I'm going to take these two products for this week. And then since we're here, let's go ahead and pick a foundation. So I'm thinking we're going to try this one out right here. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover um, Foundation. This is a full coverage foundation. Ooh, I don't know if I want the full coverage. Let's go ahead and use it. Um, this is in the shade 305 Natural Beige. So we're going to use that. And then since we're here, let's go ahead and pick a facial spray. And we're going to go ahead and use maybe this one. MAC Fix Plus in the matte spray. So we'll take this as well. So in this first drawer, we have mascara, concealers, and brows. So we don't need brows. We may be able to pick a mascara. And let's go ahead and pick this one. This is the Benefit Bad Gal Bing Mascara. So again, we'll take this for mascara this week. And then, do I have a concealer? I don't think so. I'm going to go ahead and test this one more just because this is newer in my collection and I don't really remember what I think about it. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer. I have mine in the shade 360 Cashmere. So we're going to test this concealer out more and kind of have an opinion on that. And that'll be it from this drawer. Next up is primer. Maybe we can take one of these primers. I have a primer in my... Uh, project pen so maybe i'll take this for pores this is the hard candy sheer envy pore defense primer serum um, i'm gonna take this and we should be good because i have that primer again in my project pen and i should probably be doing some good updates on that next up is powder maybe we can use a pressed powder oh no we have the besame powders already so we'll use those and then bronzer, we have that like glowy bronzer in the Clinique palette, but I may want something. You know what? I have a, um, I do have a bronzer in my project pan for the year, so I could just use that. Unless I pick another one. <laughs> Maybe this one? I can pick this one to have something more like else to use. This is the Tarte. Park Avenue Princess and here's what that looks like and this is pretty much new I haven't used it but we'll take this as well 
for blush this week. I really wanted to use these two. But I have a lot of blush. But I figured I can use it since it has highlight. But we'll pick these next week for sure. Hopefully. <laughs> so for highlighter, um, what do we have? We just have the one in the Clinique palette. So um, let's take this one by Manny MUA and Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And this is in the shade Eclipse. So we'll take this for highlight this week. And I think that's all. In here are liners. I don't really like this liner right here. This is the Milani Ultra Fine. It's not super fine. It's more like a thicker liner. I think this one's a brush tip too. I don't like this one. You know what? I can just use it and use my strips that I bought from e.l.f. Yeah, this is a brush tip. So we'll just take this. This is, again, the NYX Matte Liquid Liner in black. I like more felt tip liners, but what can you do? And what else should we use? I feel like I've used pretty much everything in here. Let's take this one. This one's like a pastel color by NYX. This is the Fox White in Mint Cream. Look, it's like a really pretty minty color. I think I had two. Is this another one? Yeah, this is like a baby blue color too. So we'll take these two. This is in baby powder. And we should be good. And next up is glitter. Should probably pick a glitter to use. Maybe let's use this one. Because I don't really use like these kinds of colors for work. This one looks pretty. Um, this is a ColourPop Supernova Shadow in the shade Moonlit. So I put all my stuff over here. So the first product, again, the Max Fix Plus matte version is up here. In this first drawer, I have mascaras, liners, and lippy products, and also my brow pencil. I did swatch. This one is the ABH Poet color, and then this one is the MAC Lipstick and Hug Me. This is a really, like, pretty everyday color. It's really pretty. And also, I did swatch the NYX, like, Fox White pencils. So this one is in, I forgot the color, Mint cream which is like the greenish colored one and then this one down here is called baby powder and it's just like a light blue color it's super pretty i don't know about this color combination but it's really pretty and then in this next drawer i have face products i have the both of the powders i have my uh, pore primer and then i actually have this in my project pen by kat von d um so i'll be using that for primer this is my foundation my concealer my two bronzers are in here and then my other little sample foundation as well. And then down here I have my NARS uh, blush palette. And then here is the Clinique like Chicken Glow palette, I believe. So you get Pearl Pop, Ginger Pop, and Sun Kissed Pop. The packaging kind of feels a little cheapy to me. I don't know. Have you guys picked this up? What do you guys think of it? I feel like the packaging is kind of cheap. Um, but I did um, swatch the highlighter and it's this one down here. It's not super blinding and it's more like a, like, it feels like it's like a duochrome kind of color. So I don't know how much I will like that. And this is supposed to be like a luminous bronzer and I think I'll like this more as like a blush. So we'll test it out again this week and see what we think. Jeffree Star in Eclipse is this highlight over here. You can see it's blinding compared to the Clinique one, but yeah. And then this swatch right here is the ColourPop Moonlit Super Nova Shadow. Isn't it so beautiful? I'm super excited excited to use that and then again my two palettes that I'm going to be using this week and I feel like this Kathleen Lights one's kind of really boring I don't know but I think I'll have fun with these colors over here. So those are all the products that I will be taking for this week's Shop My Stash video. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.